Okay, how's everyone doing? Good, happy Pride Month. All right. Thank you so much for having me, and thank you to Venture Out and TechTO for this amazing initiative. I can't, I'm so excited to speak with you about a few things that I've learned in our journey of having Adam Helps. Um, so Adam Helps, if you haven't heard about it, is an app that connects you with your neighbors for the purpose of doing everyday jobs. It's really simple. We just use geolocation and app messaging and mutual reviews. So if you need your dog walked or your apartment cleaned or somebody to help you build that, uh, that furniture that you just bought you know, a month ago, um, you can post jobs and find work which is near you. Sort of a new foray into the gig economy and different from place, things like Ask for Task, TaskRabbit, um, Jiffy, Handy, who tend to have a brokerage style system where you request the task from them and they farm it out. Here, we just let y'all figure it out on your own and we built a platform for that. Um, and it's been so far pretty successful in Toronto and we'll be launching in Calgary in two weeks. It's exciting news about our company. So, some things that you can take away. I'm super big on, I don't want to say like imparting knowledge because I don't really think of myself as anyone in a position to do that yet. Um, but here are some things that I've learned sort of from the battlegrounds of the startup world in Toronto as an openly gay entrepreneur. First things first, when to launch. This was a bit of a muck up on our part. Um, I don't know about you guys, but we were so excited about our product that we had built, and it took a long time, a lot of research, a lot of money, a lot of people, a lot of late nights, that when our product was ready, we're like, we're gonna tell everybody it's ready, but you only get one shot to be the new kid on the block. So what that meant was that we had some, we, we had only launched on iOS, and so we alienated all Android users. We did a huge media push. We were on breakfast television. We did global. We did, you know, Narcity and all these great things. And like half the people that saw them couldn't download our app. Mm, not great. So when you're building your great startups and your projects, really keep an eye on what the right time to launch is. Take a deep breath. It doesn't have to be done right away. Take your time and launch when you're really ready. We would have stayed, if I had done it differently now, we would have stayed longer in beta testing, in closed beta testing, um, and built a better product because, of course, it was sort of like our MVP. So it's like going in, you know, to a great party with like not a great outfit, right? <laughs> it's not a, it's not ideal. <laughs> um, so you know, we may have done things a little bit differently there. Um, next slide. Make your team diverse. So a bit of a weird thing to talk about in this crowd because I feel like you know we're all family and friends here and probably preaching to the choir a bit, but I wanna talk about why diversity matters because I think a lot of the time we say like, you should have a diverse team, but like what's the why behind it? So when I was in my early days, I tended to hire people that I felt safe with, people who I knew would validate me, agree with me, go to lunch with me, like whatever, because it's a small team and you're working like really closely together. But what I found was like, we didn't have a lot of richness or depth in our ideas because we literally just sit around like nodding. Yeah, I agree with what you said because we saw the world the same way. So I really like made an intentional effort to hire different people, people of different backgrounds, different ethnicities, different genders, different orientations, different experience levels. And it has made our work environment really fun, really challenging, and I've grown a ton because of it. So if you are a leader, Hire diverse, not because you have to or want to or it's the right thing to do, but because it will be really the best thing for your product and your company in the long run. Practice balance and self-care. So this is something that I'm still working on. That's why it's called a practice. Um, it's never something you don't just cross the finish line and say that you achieved balance. I think like of all the tech events I've ever gone to, I've never really heard of anyone saying like, you know, take some time for you and make sure you do other things. Because we have this idea that if you work 12, if the guy next to you is working 12 hours, you have to work 14 because you got to outpace him, you got to outgrind him, you got to show what you're made of, you got to show your investors that this is what you can do. But you're at risk for burnout, you're at risk for losing your friends, <laughs> you're at risk for losing all the other great things that make you a really good person and a really well rounded person. It's like anything, if you become too much of one thing, it's sort of like, Yet a little bit too much you know, in one area is not really gonna help you in your work. So over the past like year and a bit, I, I mean, I've made sure that I keep doing the fitness thing. I work out at least once a day. I haven't had a carb in months, so the free pizza's killing me. Um, free pizza scares me more than public speaking. Um, <laughs> uh, and you know, it's, it's kind of a cool story because even last 
July or August, which was right before we launched the app, I was on the cover of, um, of a fitness magazine. So that's me um, with a lot of makeup. Uh, <laughs> no airbrushing, though. Um, and so I just think it's super important for everyone to make sure, like, don't lose yourself in this. Whatever it is that you're doing, if it's coding or designing or product management, don't forget who you are and make sure that you honor and schedule the time to do the other things in your life that matter. Spend time with family, you know, go to events, like do things because you'll bring a freshness and a richness in life that is sort of really valuable both for you um, as a person and for your team. Everyone will see that about you and they'll realize like, oh, like we can actually be real human beings and not just robots that work crazy amounts of hours, right? Um, so don't forget to do that. And that's sort of, that's sort of it. So that was my talk. <laughs> um, one thing I wanted to do though, since it's, it was my birthday a few days ago, I want to pull a bit of an Ellen DeGeneres, if you will indulge me, because I finished a couple seconds early, and do an Insta pic. I only have like 1,300 followers, so if everyone's okay with showing their pride, I'm going to do a selfie. You guys okay with that? Yeah. Yes? Everyone's on board? Okay. I'm not going to tag anyone. Ready? Everyone in. Oh my God, I have the timer on. I'm so, I don't know, obviously I was taking a stage picture earlier. Four, three, two, one. We got it, it's, we got it. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Questions, questions? Two questions. What you said about your go live being the big, most important new kids on the block moment, completely true. I'm about to face that very soon. How did you recover when you realized that, oh, it didn't launch, or people couldn't download it? How did you recover from that? From the, from the launch? From the launch, yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was a tough blow because like I'm used to sort of like with, I mean they were saying earlier, with everything I've done, like you know if I train hard and I study hard, I get a desired result, right? If I don't eat carbs and I work out twice a day, I get a desired result. It's very A plus B equals C. So having this weird moment where I was like, I think this is the right time to launch, maybe we'll do it, and then it wasn't, really was shattering for me because I was like, ooh, I kind of screwed something up. And I don't want to say I don't normally make mistakes, but like that felt like a bit of a big one. Um, but you learn from it. I guess that's the best thing, right? So how do you recover? You take the lessons that life would have you learn. So I was like, okay, we jumped the gun a bit there, but it doesn't mean that we're not gonna have future PR opportunities. I redoubled my efforts in terms of PR and marketing. I have the best PR and marketing people in the city. Shout out to them, some of them that are here. Um, and I just realized that like nothing is catastrophic, right? There are some things that might happen to your business along the way that are like, fatalistic we're like oh my god like we might be done now but i knew that that wasn't the end it just wasn't optimal so i was sort of able to like get through it being like it's okay that not everything is perfect you don't have to get an a plus on everything that you do um so it was a little bit tough but i realized there was going to be more opportunities in the future um so that's how i kind of was able to get through it and you can really get through anything so you'll be good Yes, it is, it's a lot mental. And that's also why the self-care matters too. Because if you have yourself in check, you have your head in check, um, and you realize that like this too shall pass, um, you'll be fine. Yeah. Last question. I really like the message about um, hiring a diverse team. So we're just wondering about how do you ensure alignment? How we? Ensure alignment. Enter alignment? Ensure alignment. Oh, like yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, well, alignment's interesting because we, I don't think that we, I don't know if we try to ensure alignment, but we, we definitely try to ensure a difference of opinion. Um, I make sure that our group is not hierarchical, so we're all very, like, open to sharing. Everyone's idea matters. Um, we're not a huge team, so that's not that hard to do. Um, and it's a lot of consensus building. It's a lot of just, like, what do we think is the best for our users? What do we think is the best for our company? And let's talk about it. Let's challenge each other's ideas. So we make sure that we structure th certain things into our business models or our business practices. So um, having weekly meetings and having one-on-ones are super important because I need to hear from my people if I'm doing something that's making them feel like they can't have a voice because we have some introverts in the group, we have some extroverts. So finding alignment is like a constant work in progress, but I think the most important thing is letting people know and showing them that their opinion matters. They're doing the work, they see the results, they know the data. So I make sure everyone knows that their opinion matters and I do that by like implementing their ideas and, and making sure that they have access to a voice whenever they need it. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks so much guys, thank you.